Patricia. Let's humble ourselves and pray. Almighty Father in heaven, so grateful for this new day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for each and everyone here. Lord, thank you that you've provided us with data to come and learn. Many are not able to come here, but who are we? But I want to pray that as we are going in for this physics lesson, may you open our inner minds to understand well. May you bless our teacher, Lord. Provide unto him all the strength he needs to teach us. And above all, God, may your will be done in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Uh, so let me uh, first mute all of you. I've seen something that uh, I'm saying BBS TV. Hope that is a student. Okay. 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 So uh, last time when we met, we are looking at displacement. Uh, we looked at acceleration. Uh, that's what we looked at last time. And I'm going to ask a volunteer to raise up the hand. And you just tell us what you remember from last time's lesson, what we looked at, and probably you tell us what you remember about what is acceleration and anything of that nature. Just to recap for those who are not around. Okay, yes, Patricia. Okay, sir. Last time I remember learning about average speed, um, velocity acceleration, by which um, the velocity is a quantity that actually it's the rate of change of displacement with time. He also looked at the types, which were, um, uh, wait, we first looked at uniform velocity, which was a constant rate of change of displacement with time. Then we saw the types of velocity, the final one and the initial one. With the final velocity, I mean that when the body is at rest, it's zero meters per second, per square second. Then final velocity, this is the one which ends the body in motion. Okay. Then acceleration, what I remember, mm -hmm. it's the rate of change of display of velocity with time. Thank you. Okay, thank you uh, for sharing. Yes, Tasha. Okay, so from what I remember, what we learned about, we learned about average speed, which is the formula for finding out average speed is, is total distance covered out of total time taken. Then I also remember that average speed is a scalar quantity because it can only be represented by magnitude. It does not have direction, like we don't depend on the direction. Then I remember that the SI unit for displacement is meter per second. Then I remember the types of velocities. But before we talked about the types of velocities, we talked about uniform velocity, which is a constant rate of change of displacement with time. Then I remember that time has to be on the x-axis and then like displacement or whatever you're talking about is going to be on the y-axis. Then I remember the types of velocities, which are initial velocity. Then if they tell you that the body is starting from rest, just know the initial velocity is zero because like it has not yet started its movement, but it does not necessarily mean that the, like, the velocity is zero. It can also be 20 or something like that. Then we talked about final velocity, which is the velocity when the body, like it's ending its motion. Then we talked about average velocity, which is the, which is the like the ratio of the initial and the final velocity. Then, I mean, the, it's, the formula is final velocity plus initial velocity out of two, then acceleration, which is change in velocity out of time. Then the SI unit is meter per second, like they are kind of connected to huh. displacement. I don't know why. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, then lastly, Pitch, please, please. Pitch. Pitch. 
Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I think a lot has been said, but what I would like to add on is, yeah, I learned that speed and velocity are different since, okay, they are mostly confused, but speed and velocity are different in a way that speed is the rate of change of displacement with time, whereas velocity is the rate of change. I mean, speed is the rate of change of distance with time, whereas velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time. Then speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity. Yes, I think a lot has been said by the other two. Thank you. Okay, teacher is off. So thank you so much, uh, Peach, for sharing. Uh, that was really very good. Okay, now today in our lesson, our major thing that we are going to look at is going to be what you call equations of linear motion. This is going to be our uh, focus uh, for today's lesson. And once everyone understands the equations of linear motion, it will be very good for us. Uh, this is the core for the whole topic of linear motion. Once they talk about linear motion, the equations that we are going to talk about today it means that you must know them. And there are basically only three equations that we deal with this. The moment you understand those equations, then it means that you have understood the topic. So you just need to learn them, to, uh, to know them, and then finally to be able to use them. Now, when we talk about uh, equations of linear motion, there are basically three to four things that we need to know. One, are the signs we use. When we are deriving or when we are looking at linear motion equations, we use letter S to represent displacement. And we say that displacement, that is the distance an object moves in a specific direction. So whenever you see the letter S in an equation in physics, this one will be representing displacement. So please don't confuse it with the speed Speed is not S, so S represents displacement. Those who read further, you may find that in some books they're using letter X. That one is also okay. But the common letter we shall use here is going to be S. When you find U, U stands for what you call initial velocity. The starting velocity when an object is moving. And then we have V, V which stands for the final velocity. And then lastly, we have T, which will stand for time. Then when you find A, A means acceleration. And we say that acceleration is the rate at which the velocity, at which the speed of an object moving in a specific direction keeps on changing. How fast something changes in a given direction. That's what you call acceleration. And when we are dealing with equations of linear motion, always we are going to ensure that all our variables we are dealing with are all written in their standard units. So when you are dealing with displacement, displacement is distance. And therefore, for this one, we shall always deal in meters. Velocity, we know that we deal with meters per second, or you can write it as meters per second. And then we have the final velocity still is meters per second, or you can use this sign. And then time is given in seconds. 
and then acceleration is given in meters per second squared or meters per second squared. So those are the so these ones are the same things. So those are the things we are going to use. Now, looking at my screen, you are noticing we have an object that is moving from one point. This is like our point A and is going to point B. So we are asking, what if someone wants to find out its velocity that it is moving with? How will this person be able to calculate? What if you want to find out the time it takes to move from point A to B? How do you calculate? What if you want to find out the distance this particle has moved from one point to another? How do you calculate it? So those are the three things we are going to look at. We are going to ask ourselves, how do we calculate the distance that this thing has moved in a given direction? How do we calculate the final velocity it has attained at the end of the journey? And how do we calculate the acceleration, the rate at which the velocity was changing with the time? So these are the equations we are going to be looking at. We are going to look at the displacement, we are going to look at velocity, and then lastly, we shall be able to look at acceleration. So those are the three we are going to be looking at. Now I want to invite you to first summarize this screen. Let's make your summary, and then we are going to dig and then look at the equations. Yes, and so please, when you are in public, make sure you use a uh, uh, formal language. Uh, so allow me to disable now the chat. Yes, make sure you use formal language. Okay, yes, Faith? Sir, I beg your pardon on the definition of acceleration. Oh, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Touch Tasha. So in the simple so, time, I thought displacement does not have units. No, displacement is distance that you move in a given direction. So it has units, Tasha. Tasha, is that fine? Okay. Yes. Sir. Yes. Mm. So you said something as you're starting that equation of linear motion said that there are three main things to consider when you began mm. with the signs we use. Mm. What are the two other things? Oh, okay. Now the three things is one, we are going to look at acceleration. We are going to look at displacement and then we shall look at velocity. Those are the main things we are going to look at. Okay. Tasha again. Okay. So when you finish to summarize, I kind of just type in the chat that you have finished. So in case you have a question, uh, always should I assume I'm saying people in the chat they are telling me finished, 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 finished. Finished. Okay. Now we have said that acceleration is how fast something moves in a particular time at a particular interval of time. So we are looking at how fast, like we are looking at the velocity. So and when we talk about velocity, we are looking at the speed, we are looking at how fast something moves. So that's what you call acceleration. So acceleration will look at how fast something moves in a particular direction at a particular time interval. So here, when you look at acceleration, we are looking at the rate at which your speed keeps on changing whenever you're moving in a given direction. An example, I told you that when you are moving from Kampala to Jinja to where and so on, you find that your velocity keeps on changing, your speed keeps on changing, depending on where you are. So that rate at which your speed keeps on changing is what we are calling uh, acceleration. Okay, depending on the chat, people are telling me they have finished to summarize, and now we are going to take a look at how the equations of motion look like. Now, I'm going. We are going to first 
look at the first equation of linear motion. However, I want you to let you know, I'm deriving, I'm going to show you how these equations come, but you don't need to know how they are derived. For you, the only thing you need to know, how it is stated and how it is being used. So at this level, they cannot ask you to go on and derive. However, since I don't want you to cram, I want you to know how it comes about. But you don't need to learn how to how you derive it, or you need to know how to state it and how it comes. But I don't want you to just cram things from anywhere. So that's why I'm going to show you how it comes about. But what is very important is for you to know how it is stated, and from being stated, how you can be in position to use it. So we know very well, I'm going to start from here. You know though that when we talk about distance is given by speed times time. Hope everyone knows that. We know that distance is speed times time. This is what we call distance. But now, since we are looking at linear motion, we, use, we are going to use what we call our, our first thing. So what do I want you to know? You know very well that acceleration, we looked at acceleration last time. We say that acceleration is the rate, is the change in velocity out of time being taken. That's what we say. And now depending on our equation, we have said acceleration, we shall represent it by A then we are going to have what you call a change in velocity. So we talked about velocity. We talked about what you call the final velocity and what you call the initial velocity. So you say the final velocity is V and the initial velocity is U. Take an example. In case we have our person here, let me say uh, this is maybe Audrey and she's starting her journey. From A, This the speed that she's going to start with when they're timing, let me say it is 30 meters per second. And then on the finishing point, uh, maybe she's driving a car. On the finishing point, this side, maybe she finishes at 80 meters per second. I want to now to find out who can tell, I want you in the chat to tell us what is the change in the velocity. Yes, type in the chat. I want to find out whether people understand what we call now the change in velocity. Type your answer in the chat and so aha uh -huh. audrey has said it is 50 aha uh -huh. others what is the change in velocity from a to b type type aha uh -huh. melinda has said 50 alexandra has said 50 noxia 50 okay 50 melinda okay 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 I think everyone now is saying 50, Daniela 50, Patricia 50, Joel 50, Keisha 50. Okay, okay, uh -huh. yes. Now I'm going to use the letters. Instead of 30, I'm putting U. Why? 30 is the initial. Then instead of 80, I'm putting V. I want you now to type in the chat. Instead, I, From 30, I've used the U. Instead of eta, I've used the V. I want you to write in terms of U and V, the change in velocity. Yes. Type in the chat. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh. Okay. Audrey, check out. Check out. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for that. Uh -huh. Adina Itre, good. Shannon, good. Patricia, good. Yes. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 People are understanding. Very good. All those answers are coming up. So you are noticing that to get the change in velocity, we always obtain the final minus the initial. And our final velocity is V. For this case, it was 80 minus minus U. This is what we call the change in velocity. So when I come here to my formula of acceleration, I will say change in velocity is going to be V minus U out of the time taken, which is T. Now, when I reach here, I'm going to apply some mathematics. Since I don't want that T down, I'm going to remove it. So to remove that T, I'm going to multiply this side by T. I multiply this side by T. 
So A times T, I'll end up with A T is equal to this T and this one will cancel. I remain with V minus U. Uh -huh. Now in the chart, in the chart, I want you to remove for me U from this side where it is and bring it this side of A T and you write for me the equation you remain with in the chart. Remove for me U from where it is, take it this side of 80 and write the equation you are forming. Form that equation. I want to look at it. Hope you have not, you have understood the, hope you are understanding the instruction. I want you to remove the U from the side where it is. Aha, uh -huh. good, good. Daniela, that is good. Tasha, okay. Patricia, aha, uh aha, -huh. aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, aha. Uh -huh. Now, now, allow me to let you know that's what you call the first equation. When I move you at this side, I'll have u plus a t is equal to v. And therefore, my first equation is written as v is equal to u plus a t. This is what you call the first equation of linear motion. Kindly talk to me. As everyone understood that, you can yes, unmute. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Assured. Assured. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Now, like I've told you, at this level, you don't need to know how to derive it. Eh? But now, for you, now since you have got a crowd, we bring them. There is no crime for you to be able to know it. But that's how it is being derived. Okay. Can you make? For me, what I'm interested in is for you to write the equation, but those who want, you can also show you have derived it, how you, have, how you come up with it. So we can write that equation, and then we go to the second equation. When you finish, you just tap on us in the chat, and you say, I have finished. Okay, done. Okay, people are finished. Good. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we are going to look at the second equation of linear motion. Now, when it comes to the second equation of linear motion, this equation is basically talking about displacement. And now, when it comes to displacement, you know very well that displacement is that distance you travel in a given direction. But I want to remind you, we know that distance is given by speed times time. Now, you know that when I'm talking about displacement, Displacement doesn't go with speed. Instead, displacement goes with, let me type in the chat and I see. Displacement doesn't go with speed. It goes with, which word is related? Just type in the chat and we see. Who can guess that word? Aha, very good, very good, very good, yes. So displacement goes with velocity. So now here we shall say average velocity times the time. Average velocity times the time. That is displacement. I want you to ask to, to check whether people know what you call uh, average, average velocity. I'm going to have here a girl called Daniela. Daniela started with 30 meters per second. And then she ended with 50 meters per second. Members, what is the average velocity of Daniela? Calculate and you tell us in the chat. 
what is the average velocity of Daniela? Uh, Peach is saying 40. NSM is saying 40. Zanita 40. Aha. Uh -huh. 40. People are saying 40. I think 40 is okay. BBS, Washel, uh -huh. Angel, Daniela, Jaden, Martha. Okay. Everyone is saying 40. Very good. Uh -huh. Now, I'm removing. Instead of 30, I'm putting you because that is the velocity. Daniela started with. Instead of 50, I'm putting V. Put again the formula for average velocity in the chart. Instead, we are not using 30, we are using U. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. I've said now we are using, I want you to write the formula for average velocity using U and V. Your 30 has been replaced by U. Your 50 has been replaced by V. Write that formula in the chart and we see. Think. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh -huh. Okay. Milembe, 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 you can unmute. So how did how did they get 40? How did they get 40? Uh -huh. Milembe. Milembe, oh, you tell us, you? don't mute, eh? Uh -huh. Milembe. Yes. Imagine in one yes. paper you have 80 in math. And in, in the second paper, this is beginning of term. And in and the end of the term, you end up, you get uh 100 in the paper. What is your average mark? How do you get your average mark? You add the marks and then you divide them by two. By two. Uh -huh. Can you apply the same concept here? Yes. Uh -huh. So what are you going to add? We add 30 plus 50. Uh -huh. What and do you get? By... Yes. You get 40. Okay. Thank you. 40 is okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. Now, that's how we get the average. And I'm happy everyone is writing the average in the chat. So, displacement, we say that for it, we use S. And we have said average velocity. We are going to say V plus U out of 2. Then time was what we have as our time. So, time we use T. So we are coming. Now, one thing I want you to know, one thing I want you to know is from your first equation, we say that V is equal to U plus AT. Now, what is going to happen is that now I'm going to come here in this, from here, where there is this V, I replace it with this expression that V is the same as U plus AT. So I will say S, is equal to u plus a t. That is the thing I want to first replace. Then plus u divided by two, then times the time. So I'm going to go on and say u plus u. Hope members here can testify that that is two u plus a t divided by two, then times the time. What is going to happen? This t, I can bring it inside. So when it comes inside, it multiplies here. It is going to multiply here. So I'll end up with 2ut plus 80 squared, but everything divided by 2. So this one, I can write it as 2ut. Since this 2 divides both terms, I will say 2ut out of t plus 80 squared out of 2 is equal to S. I'll continue and I say by two, by two. So I'll get my S equals to UT plus one out of two, a T squared. Are we on the same track? I want to check out. We might be leaving out some people. Are we on the same track? Unmute and tell me. Tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Now, okay, good. Now, that is, this is what we call the second equation of motion. So for it, it's talking about displacement. So what you need to know, 
is not how to derive it, but how to write it and state it. Ah, that is the equation. S is equal to ut plus a half a t squared. Uh -huh. Black girl. So some people are saying I lost. Can you please help them? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to do so. Yes, Audrey? Excuse me, where did you get that to use? That to? Use. The to you. Okay, Audrey, there is, are you seeing this you here? Yes. And this one here? Yes. So this is you plus you. Exactly. The equation up has one u, but then when ah. you go down, you still you have two u's. So where did okay. the second u come from? Okay, uh -huh. Audrey, now we are coming back. So let me, don't mute, don't mute. Let us start from there. Okay, so Audrey, was this okay? S is equal to V plus U out of two times T. Was that okay? Yes. Now, are you seeing this V here? Yes. So from the first equation, we say that V is equal to U plus A T. Do you remember? Yes. Now, where there is this V here is where we are going to put the whole of these because they are the same. Are we still together? Yes. So I will say U plus A T. So U plus A T, the whole of this one, is what is representing V. Then I will say plus U, this U, then everything divided by 2 times the time. Okay, I've understood. Okay. I've understood. Okay, okay. So from here, members, you add u plus u is 2u plus 80, everything divided by 2, then time was the time. So from here, this time multiplies everything. So that's where you are going to end up with the 2, 2ut plus 80 squared, because 80 times t gives you a t times t is t squared. So everything now divided by two. So when you divide individual terms, you get two ut out of two plus a t squared out of two. So you end up with ut plus a half a t squared. Hope we have brought everyone now at least on board. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now, but like I've told you, oh, okay, I want to check in the chat. Tell me whether we're on the same track at least. Are we there now? Okay, okay. People are saying yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we are there. We are there. Yes. Okay, good. Uh huh. Okay, now this is the equation I want you to take note. Now I, I'm asking the second question, whether we are finished right. Like I told you, what you need to know is the equation is what is important. So this one, you're going to have it in your head that S is ut plus a half t squared is what you must go with. It is your two. Okay, can we push on now? Okay. So I think now we can move on. Uh, yes, I think we can move on now. Okay, now let me uh, remove this screen, but take note of those equations. Those are what, those are the equations that are very important. And once you master them, then you'll be very good to go. Okay. Now we go to the third one. We go to the third one. Now the third one, like I told you, there are three things we talk about. Displacement, velocity, and now the third one is going to talk about the acceleration. So that is the last one we are going to look at. Now when it comes to the third one, uh, it is also this, we follow the same procedure. But what is very important now for it 
we derive it in the same way like how we derive the other one. But the only thing we eliminate is one thing, and that is time. So how do we bring it out? So like we said, hope now everyone remember, we have said displacement is given by average velocity times the time. And we said average velocity is V plus U out of two, then everything times the time is equal to S. Hope that, that one is okay now for everyone. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. So the first one, Danny, then the first one is talking about velocity and there is nothing like displacement, yeah? I'm going to summarize them. Now, you remember from the first one, V is given by U plus AT. Now, what do we want to remove? We, we want to get T. I'm going to get this U, I bring it to this side. So I'll have V minus U is equal to AT. What am I interested in? Since I want to remove this t from this equation, I'm going to make it the subject. I say by a, by a. So I remain with v minus u out of a is equal to t. Members, let me know whether that is very okay. Is that step fine? Is that step fine? Is that step fine for time? Okay, okay, not really, yes, yes, okay. Uh -huh. We are coming from the first step. We said V is U plus A T. Now, I want to make T the subject of the formula. So I'll get this U, I bring it this side. So I'll have V minus U is equal to U minus U plus A T. So u minus u is zero. So I'll have v minus u is equal to a t. Now to get time, I remove this a. I say divide by a, divide by a. So I end up with v minus u out of a is equal to, to t. So that's how we get it. Now, after doing so, after making my t, I'll come back here and I substitute for that t. So I'm going to come here. And I tell you, we shall have S is equal to V plus U out of two. Then my T is this. So I'll have V minus U out of A. Kindly let me know whether we're on the same page. I might be going alone. Members, unmute and tell me, are we on the same page? Yes, sorry, Yes? Sorry, please. Okay, from where? Sorry. From? from the same page. So from V minus U out of A equals A T out of A. Okay, let me repeat once. Uh -huh. Let me first mute you. Now, what I'm saying, after getting your V minus U out of A is equal to T, you come in this real equation, the one we formed for average velocity, and then where there is time is where we are going. So time is equal to this. So where there is time, put V minus U out of A. So that's what we are putting. So now I'm going to come back and say, uh, this is V plus U. I am multiplying with V minus U out of two times A, which is two A is equal to S. Let me check whether people have covered quadratics in senior to man. A squared minus B squared is equal to, type in the chat. I want to check whether schools have covered that topic or whether you covered it in your school and you remember. A squared minus B squared is equal to, No one knows that one. I want an expansion. When you expand a squared minus b squared, difference of two squares. Did you cover that? Aha, uh -huh. good. 
Uh huh. I've seen. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 I've seen. I've seen. I've seen. Some people covered it. Some people covered it. Okay. Okay. Good. That is good. Let me first take this question. Someone had a question? Those who have questions, kindly first ask. Diane. Diane. Diane, unmute. What was the question? Diane, unmute. It's not unmuting. Yes, Tasha. So, like, I don't know what I've not understood, but I, I think I've not understood. Where? I don't know. Okay, okay, Tasha. I'm going to see what to do. Uh -huh. Black girl. Uh, sir, for me, mm. I'm not understanding. This equation we are trying to get is the third is the third equation for linear motion. Should yes. We have this? Yes, we have not finished. We are still continuing. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. So here, members, those who don't know this rule, please, you must learn it. Now I'm asking, I want to ask people, when you look at this equation of ours, up, you have V plus U, V minus U. Tell me, which answer shall we have here? Put it in the chat also. Put your answer. Okay, Diane. Uh -huh. I want to check. People, have you seen? This side we have V plus U up, V minus U. So what do we have this side? I want you to apply now. I'm looking at the application of the knowledge. Mm. This Maclean, this squared, mm. that is incomplete. Aha, perfect. Perfect. I've seen the yes, yes, good, good, good. So you cannot start this side. We shall have v squared minus u squared. Yes. So please, we are applying the knowledge, hoping that everyone has covered that topic. Okay, good. But from this rule, so I want to let you know we shall have s. So now the whole of this upper part. The whole of this upper part here, we shall replace it with v squared minus u squared out of 2a. Now, when I reach that point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply. To remove this 2a, I say times 2a times 2a. So this side, 2a times s, I'll have 2as is equal to this 2a, and this one cancels, I'll have v squared minus u squared. Now, once I reach at this step, I'm going to remove this negative. I bring it this side so I can say u squared plus 2as is equal to v squared minus u squared plus u squared. So u squared plus 2as is equal to v squared. And therefore, my equation is going to be v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. And this is what we call our third equation of motion. It is a bit tricky, but like I told you, you don't need to, to know how to derive it. For here, I want you to know how to state it. It's what is very important. Okay, so let's summarize it, and then we continue. Yes, I know it might be a bit tough, tough. Yeah, but we are we shall get there. But you don't need you don't need to know how to what is very important. To now to state it. Oh, recording in progress. Yeah, that's fine. Uh huh. There into the chat people are saying they are done okay done 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 okay now let us continue no problem 
problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, but please, uh, like I am going to repeat when in your revision, what is important is knowing how you state it. How you state it. You don't need to know how to derive it, and they will never ask you to derive it. But just because for me, I want you to not to cram. Can we summarize those three equations in our books? Summarize them in your book. Those are the most important things. Summarize. When you finish, you let us know. Done. Okay. Uh huh. I want to check. Are we their members? Okay. Cruiser said, yeah. Peach, yeah. Fearing, yeah. Okay. Good. Members, anyone we are leaving behind, mute, unmute, and tell us. Talk to us. Me. Are we finished to summarize? Yes. Yes. Okay. No, sir. Okay. Oh, okay. We we are giving you one minute. You are done. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let us now yes. continue. Let us continue. Okay. Let's continue. And now we start looking at examples, activities. So first, write that one. First, write that one. That's why the question. Let me let me ask. Don't you think we need first try it on our own? Members, what do you think? Don't you yes, think we need we first try it? Yes, we first try. Yeah, let us first try it. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Let's try it on your own. Mm. But always, whenever you meet these word problems, eh, first summarize. Summarize. A car accelerated from a velocity of. Summarize it very well. Let me see. We are going to be playing with those three equations. We are playing with the three equations. Oh, someone has got some answer, Fidel. Okay, thank you, Fidel. Okay. 
Okay, Tasha has also got some answer. Joy and uh -huh. Angel and Sean have got some answer. Joel, hey, hey. Okay, Rabib, Alan. Can we have one person to take us through? Who wants to? Okay. Okay. I want to see who has not contributed today. Let me first check. Uh huh. Patricia said something. Peach said something. Patricia said. Oh, members, if I saw is up before I choose one of these ones. Any boy? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, quags. Let me start with the quags. Yes, quads. Okay, Tisha, I'm starting with acceleration. Mm -hmm. It accelerated from a very steep of 10 meters a second to 30 meters a second. In, in four seconds, calculate the acceleration. Shall you hearing me? Yes, now you're a bit clear. As I'm starting with the acceleration, as we said, Acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial out of time. Our initial was 30 meters per second, then which was 30, then we subtract by 10 meters per second out of our time, which was given as four. Then we get 20 out of four, where we have got where I have gotten five meters per second. So that was my acceleration. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Members, anyone with a, a problem on this number? Anyone with a problem? Is the number okay for part one? I don't want us to leave part one before we... Is part one okay? Unmute members. Yes, part one is fine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Allow me now to mute you. Okay. So now we are going... Okay. Now we are going to part two. Okay. Part two, part two. Shannon. Yes, first teacher. Yes, take us through part two. She hadn't yet worked it out though. Okay, but tell us the formula for the distance. That's where we need to start from. Distance is equal to speed times time. No, now I want now from these equations of motion. Uh -huh. Start from S is equal mm -hmm. to. So I'm not sure. Okay. Do you know? Do you, have you seen the three equations of motion? Yes. Uh -huh. What is the second one saying? S is equal to. Is equal to U T. Uh -huh. Plus a half a t squared. A half a t squared. Good. Now, whenever members they talk about distance moved by the car. We always look out for that equation that has s in it. Is the one you use. So here we have understood that our u is ten, our v is thirty, our time is four. So substitute for us. Ten times four. Okay, ten times. Four. Mm -hmm. Plus a half times times acceleration, which is five. Mm -hmm. Times four times four. Okay, times four times four. Because you know t is four squared, which is four times four. Okay. Uh, can you pass radius for us here in case it's very possible? Yes, you can write. By two ones in two four, that will be two. Okay. 
So we continue. 10 times to 4. 40. Mm -hmm. Plus. Plus 5 times 2 is 10 times 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 40 plus. Plus 40. Which gives us? 80. Okay. These are meters and that is our distance. So, yes, now there is a hand from Peach, okay, and Tasha. Peach and Tasha, unmute. Yes, okay, teacher. As far as I know, as you said earlier, it represents displacement and displacement yes. is given direction. Mm. So, mm. Our answer is just 80 meters. Aha, uh -huh, yes. So 80 meters only represents distance. So when, when they want to give the direction, that's when they state it as displacement. So 80 meters is what is representing the distance. So to make it displacement, then I will say 80 meters in this kind of direction. Yes. Is it okay? It's okay. Okay. Samia had wanted to do the number, but you've already finished to do it. Oh, okay, Tasha. Okay, Tasha. You will do. I think now, uh -huh. Ethel. Ethel. Um, I am I'm asking if displacement is the same as as distance. No, no, like displacement, you add on the direction. You give this distance of 80 meters, but you go and add on the direction, say 80 meters in the west, 80 meters in the north. So when you add on the direction, it becomes displacement. Eto, is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay. I think members, now we can continue and look at the second number. Uh -huh. The second number is there. Allow me to, also we are trying it on our own. Let me first clean the board. Try it on your own. We are playing with those three equations, basically. Try, 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 try. I'll deny it to tell you that that one is the same method. It works. Change in velocity out of time. Yeah. So we are trying. Try. Mm -hmm. But here now, I want I want us to first summarize because I know some of you may get confused. Uh huh. I want someone to raise up the hand. No, in the chat, type for us what you, in case you have used any of these ones. Type for us in the chat which of these ones you have. Oh, Peach is already up. Yes, Peach, tell us. Okay, for my V is. 15. Okay, your V is 15. Mm -hmm. You? Zero. zero Y? Because the question has the body starts from rest and our initial velocity is zero. 
Okay, Ahati. You don't have your A. My A is five. Your A is five meters per second. Now, members, whenever you find meters per second squared, whenever you find that there is a two, that is always your acceleration. When there is one, that is velocity. Since they told that the body started from rest, we say that from rest, it means that the initial velocity is u. Now your task is to look for the equations of motion and you ask which one am I going to use? You look at all of them and then say, which one do, am I going to use? Which one do I need? Uh -huh. Take an example. Uh, when you look here, we have V. So I'm going to first look for the equation, which have V. These are the two equations with V. I have U. Still, these two equations have U. Uh -huh. I want T, but T has not been given. Meaning that this one, I can remove it. Because it has T in it, then I want A. Then A is here. So meaning that now this is the correct equation I can use because it has S, it has the A. So I can use it to find your my S. So I expect you to use V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS. However, there are people who can first use this third, this one V is equal to U plus 80 to get time. After getting it, you bring it in the second one. It's also okay. Yes, Tasha. So when you finish, type your answer in the chart. Okay. Rabibu, Rabibu, Rabibu is saying 22.5. Okay. Let others also calculate and we see. Thank you. Thank you, Rabibu. Members, is the answer failing? Patience, you are going to raise up your hand. 22.4, Uh Okay. Those people who didn't get, kindly raise up your hand and then we start together. Any person who didn't get how we reached there, raise up your hand. One of them I saw was patience. Uh, okay. Miriam Bezia. Paul, Daniela. Okay, I'm going to choose one. Uh -huh. I start with Daniela? Oh, sorry. Yes, Daniela, go on. Daniela, you are not talking. I saw saying that I'm going to use the one from part v squared. You are saying uh -huh. squared plus the part of v squared hmm. equal to u squared plus two a. Okay. Yes. Like how to use the equation? Oh, Daniela, are you talking about how to use that equation? Yes, teacher. Okay, Daniela, substitute for us. What is your V squared? That says V is 15. So I will say 15 squared, squared. is equal to. Squared. What is your U squared? Uh, since U is zero, zero squared. 
Ajá, plus. Times. Two. Times. What is your A? A is also five. Ajá, then times S. Ajá, now, 15 squared means 15 times 15. Is equal to zero squared is zero times zero, which is zero. zero Plus times. two times five. That's ten. Uh -huh, ten is yes, uh -huh. so Daniela place fifteen times fifteen. What do you get? Fifteen times fifteen. What do you get? Actually, let me first work it out. So I think Daniela, is it two to five? Yeah. Okay. Which is equal to 10 S. So to get S, divide by 10 by 10. So when you place your calculator, what do you get for your S? Two to five divided by 10. Twenty two point five meters. So that is it. Hope we are okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm seeing a hand up. Sharon. Stacy Sharon. And Davinia. Sharon and Davinia unmute. Okay, teacher, yes, I've understood everything. And me, what I have here, I first got to using this the downer formula. Hmm. Then I use the first formula. To yeah, get it my... is very, 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 very okay. Very. Okay. Hmm. okay. Yes, Tasha. Tasha, unmute. It's the same as the vineyard. Oh, okay. Okay. So those who have used the second approach, whereby you said V is equal to U plus 80, then you said this is 15 is equal to U, which is zero, plus acceleration, which is this. Then you said 15 is equal to 5T by 5 by 5, and you got your T is equal to 3. Then after you came in this equation, you substitute. It is very correct. It is very okay. You get the same answer. Okay. Ah, uh, we are going to try out another one. Another one. We must make sure that we can calculate these equations. Um. Okay. 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 Ah. Uh, Okay, hope you are seeing that question. I want someone to identify there is some little trick in this statement, in this question. Can someone break for us what, what you have noticed that we need to be very careful and keen when we are answering it? Yes, Davinia. Okay, teacher, for me, what I notice in the question, basically, it means that the car was decelerating because they have used retards, which means it's going to be a negative. Okay, perfect. Members, take note of that word, that English word, retards. Retards means you are coming to rest. So when you are coming to rest, your velocity keeps on reducing, meaning that acceleration is going to reduce. So the moment you find the word retards, decelerates, those words, you must apply a negative. Hope we are talking. Yeah. So please be very careful. The moment you see, uh -huh. A car moving with velocity, and someone tell us, what is our you? Let me allow it to unmute. Uh -huh. Members, what is our you? What is V? What is T? What is A? Uh -huh. You, do we have you? 
Do we have you? Yes. 25. It 25. is 20. Uh -huh, 25 meters per second. Do we have V? No. 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 Do we have T? No. For the first question. The no. first Roman. Uh -huh, for the first Roman, we have this what? Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Uh, then acceleration? 2.5. 2.5. But because of this word, retards, we are going to write it as negative. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So let us start. Yeah. Let us start. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to, as we are trying out, I'm going to randomly be asking some people, I find. Jaden, are we on the same page? Jemima, Eunice, are we on the same page? Jejo, are we on the same page? Joy, Angel, yes. okay. Sean and Angel, are we on the same page? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Uh, Alina, are we on the same page? Yes. Okay. Audrey, are we on the same page? Yes, teacher. Okay. BBC. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Bridget. Okay, Grace. Danny. Yeah. Okay, Daniela. Daniela, another Daniela. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Gerard, Gerard and Henry. Joel. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, Davinia. And I want to know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm Okay, uh -huh. those who are finished, put some of your answers in the chat. Okay, so we are putting our answer for Roman one, is what I'm looking at. Daniela has said five meters per second. Low one, five. Shannon, five. Uh, Tasha five, Audrey five, Davinia five, Diane K five, Lena Cruz five, Grace five, BBC five, Melinda five, Joel five, I think I tell five, IT eight eight. Uh -huh. This is good. Elvis, Poco, Pal, Genesis, McQueen, Christian, Lucia. Uh, Agatha, yeah, I think Gab Gerard. Oh, yes, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Okay. Oh. Okay, five, five. I think five is okay. Janice, Eunice, Bestie, 
Okay, that is good. That is good. Uh -huh. Now we are on number two. We are on part two. Part two, still we are trying out. Try out on part two. Okay, Patricia. Right. Okay, so like honestly, on Roman one, I haven't got five. Okay, Patricia. Um, take I don't us know how those guys got it. Okay, Patricia, take us through. How did you do it? <laughs> okay, I thought of us finding the displacement, then I. Okay, I thought since they're asking for velocity, um, velocity is equal to displacement by time. Oh, uh -huh. now Patricia. Yes. Now I want you. Do you know the first equation of motion? Yeah. Ah, state it. It's v is equals to okay. Velocity is equals to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Can we substitute here? All right. What is your U? My U is 25. Mm -hmm. Plus, what is A? It's um negative 2.5. Uh, what is your time? It's 8. Uh, continue. OK, 25 plus negative 2.5. That is out for us that one. It is 22.5. Yes. 22.5. Oh no. Okay. Negative. Remember, you have first deal with this. Oh, okay. Negative 2.5 times 8. And that's negative 20. Okay. Then 25 minus 20. Is five. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm now looking at number at your time. I want to see those those who are getting time, what we are getting. Uh -huh. So far, no one has put in time. Yes. Please, please make sure you use the chat very well. And Davinia is getting 120 seconds. So make sure don't type anything outside the answer. Anything not related to class. Don't put it in the chat. You may be removed and you may never fail, you may never return again. So when they remove you from a Zoom meeting, uh, we write a report to Zoom. And we we disown you from the group such that you cannot access any other lesson. So that is the problem. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I'm seeing the answer, but you are going to allow me that one to help you. Now, one thing you need to know: they are telling the time it takes to come to rest. That statement is very important. The time it takes to come to rest. In the chat, I want people to tell me, what is your final velocity? That is the question, I, the first question. When they tell you that the time it comes to rest, what is the final velocity? Good, I've seen some answer coming in. What about the rest? What do you think? Aha, uh -huh. V is zero. Very good. 
because you are coming to rest, meaning you cannot move any further. So your V, now I'm on Roman two, V is going to be zero. Our U was 25. Our acceleration was negative 2.5. Remember, this is where you have made the mistake. So we shall have V is equal to U plus 80. Our V is zero is equal to u, which is 25, plus a is negative 2.5 t. So I'm going to make the 25 come this side. I have 0 minus 25 is equal to 25 minus 25 plus negative 2.5 t. So I'll have negative 2.5 is equal to negative 2.5 t. So I will divide by negative 2.5 divided by negative 2.5. What answer do you get? I want to check. Is it 20, negative 25, negative divided by negative? This one is a positive. 25 divided by 2.5. Is it 120? Members, is it 120? Is it 120? Uh -huh. Elvis is saying 10. Agatha, that is 2.5, not 25. Okay, 10, yes. So here, your answer was supposed to be 10 seconds is equal to T. May I ask, those who got 120, can someone explain to me a bit how you got the 120? Yes, Davinia. Okay, first of all, I realized my mistake. So my, I use my final velocity as five, as given in the question. And I didn't realize that it takes the question had rest, so it had to be zero. Oh, okay, okay. So that was the trick. That was the trick. This was 120. Because for, for the five, the time it took was eight. Yeah. Uh huh. Now the last one. The last one, let's try it. Yes. The distance moved by the car. So Roman 3, we can also summarize it. Still, your you will remain 25. Now, since it, now this one is related to this. Why? Because it means that when the car completes its journey, the velocity it finishes with, it is that, uh, it is the zero. So here you can also know that V is equal to zero. For that one. Uh, in case you want to know, even you can know that your time here is also going to equal to 10 seconds. So feel free either to use the second equation or the third equation. In order to those two equations give you the answer. Yes, but Barak, Barak, unmute. Yes, Barak. Barak, you are not talking. Yes, Baro. Okay, so I'm waiting to look at the answers people are getting in the chat. Sir. Yes? Okay, sir, once again, I'm just trying to understand the Roman number two. Hmm. Since your 
we set it down the our answer. And, mm. and the issue is since we realize that we don't have uh we don't have t, does it mean we are free to use either the second equation or the last equation? Yes. Now, since we know the time this vehicle will take to move from where it was up to where it is going to stop, let me say from A up to B, we know the time it takes it. So to come to rest, it means it has reached its final destination. And we have found that time to be 10 seconds. So if I want to find out the distance it has moved from A to B, I am free to use this time, knowing that at the final destination, it's V is zero. Yes. Mm. So any of those two equations give you the same answer, given that you substitute well. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I'm looking through the charts to check the answers we have. What's happening? Well, okay, I've seen people have written the correct answer. 125, 125, 125, yes. Can we have one person to take us through? Those who got 125. 125. I want someone who has not said anything fast. Apart from Tasha, apart from Patricia. Any other? Any other? Shona? Shona is refusing to unmute. Okay. I want someone who has not said. Elvis, any? Okay, now let me look on the it and see. Those who have raised up. Okay, Melinda, yes. Okay, now like with me, I used the second equation. Okay. Now like the second equation, it is S is equal to initial velocity mm -hmm. times, times time plus a half times acceleration times time squared. Whereby our initial velocity in this question, it was 25. Yeah. So, mean, so meaning our U is going to be 25 multiplied by our time which we, whereby we got here in the second question, we got 10. So meaning times 10 plus a half times now the acceleration here since it was deaccelerating we shall say times negative 2.5 okay. then times the time squared which is now 10 squared so now we shall say s 
is equal to 25 times 10, which is 250. Then plus a half times negative 2.5. times 100, since 10 squared gives us 100. Now we shall divide that two by 100, whereby 100 divided by two, we shall get 50. Yeah. So meaning we shall, we shall arrive to S is equal to 250 plus Negative 2.5 times 50. Whereby negative 2.5 times 50 gives us negative 125. So meaning we shall say S is equal to 250 minus 125. Which gives us S is equal to 125 meters. Okay. Thank yeah, you. that's what, you're welcome. Okay. Uh -huh. Any any person who use the third? Who use the third? Uh -huh. Aaron? <laughs> yes, Aaron? Yes, Aaron. Okay, patience. Uh, I use the third. Okay. So the, for, the formula is B squared plus team patience. So um Yes. I'm not understanding the part where but we are using our time as 10 seconds. Oh, now for the third, yeah? Now, like, uh, why we use the 10 is that we know very well that for this person to move from his starting point to the ending point, because he was coming to rest, it took him 10 seconds. And that's what we found out in Roman 2 because he was coming to rest, meaning that he was finishing his journey, was coming to his destination. So that's why we can use it, 10. We cannot use any other time. I don't know, patients, are we on the same page? Yes, we are, because I got the wrong answer because I used the wrong time as eight seconds. Ah, uh, Now, eight seconds, it means you did not come to rest, you ended somewhere. Okay. Mm. Okay, Aaron. Thank you. Okay, sir. V squared is equal to U squared. Sir, I get U yes. squared plus two A S. Okay. We substitute V is zero, so it becomes zero squared. Is equal to twenty five squared. Plus two into negative two point five S. That gives us zero is equal to six hundred twenty five plus negative five S. When the six hundred twenty five pushes the equal sign becomes a negative, so it becomes negative six hundred twenty five. Is it called to negative five s? Oh, we subtract six hundred twenty-five on both sides. So we divide the negative five s divided by negative. We divide negative five s divided by negative five and divide this also by negative five. Negative five by negative five gives us a positive. 625 divided by 
Okay, thank so you. When posting test, is equal to 125 meters. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that is very good. That is very good. Okay, so that's how you work out those numbers. Uh, you can use any approach you use. You'll end up getting the same, same answer. Okay. Uh, now, I think I don't know what I have on next. Either it is some simple exercise you're going to try out on your own, uh, such that, so that is briefly how we use those equations. The moment you know to state it and you can use it, then you are very good to go. Okay. This one you are going to start. Now, the only trick with this one is having kilometers per hour. What you need to know is that when something is in kilometers per hour, change it to meters per second because I was saying that when you are converting, when you are converting uh, from kilometers per hour to meters per second, what do you do? Your 90 kilometers per hour, you are going to, you know that in one, uh, in one kilometer, you have 1,000 meters. And you know that in one hour, you have 60 minutes times 60 seconds, which will give you 3,600 seconds. So what do you do? Whenever you meet 90 kilometers per hour, anything with per hour, and you are converting to meters per second, what are you going to do? Always multiply that number by 1,000 and you divide by 3,600. That is the thing. Multiply by 1,000, then divide. So in simple terms, I think I can even reduce this one. Uh, okay, yes. So that's what you have to do always. Get 90, multiply it times 1000, divide by that one. The moment you do that, it means that your answer has already been converted. So you will end up with 25 meters per second. So always multiply up by 1000 and then divide by 3600. That's how we convert from kilometers per hour to meters per second. Now, when you look at this question, they're telling us that a car traveling at, meaning that is the initial velocity. So for this case, your U will equal to 25. It is uniformly brought to rest in 40 seconds. Let me ask members, what is our V? What is our V? Zero. So, what is your V members? Zero. 
Okay. Zero. Zero. Okay, it is zero. 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 Uh -huh. Then our T is? It is zero. It is 40 seconds. Okay. Can everyone calculate? Okay, can we quickly calculate our acceleration? Yes, there is something I want us to, to note. Calculate your acceleration. Calculate your acceleration and see what you have. Calculate your acceleration. Guys, be patient and wait for teacher. Sorry, I think uh, there is some interruption with the network. Yes, that's why I think you have seen some at the same time people have gone off. Are those people who are still online, which network are you using? Kind of let us know. Which network are you using? MTN. MTN. Empty. Wi-Fi. Like a mobile. Wi-Fi. Okay. Like a mobile. Wi-Fi. Okay. Empty. Like a mobile. Wi-Fi. Okay. Empty. Yeah, I think uh, there was some network issue across the country. So that's why people went off for some lines. Okay, but it's okay. Uh, now, what, uh, but I know people are still coming back, those who went off, it was something in general. 
so which answers are you getting? No, it, it depends on the line. It depends on the line. It depends on the line you are on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it depends on the line. Yes. Uh, it depends even on the device. Most likely those people are using the uh, routers are the ones that will get affected. But in case you're using a phone, uh, you cannot get affected. Yeah. Okay. So... Okay, now the answer, I expect everyone to have got the answer as negative 0 0.625 meters per second, but that was your answer. In case you got something different, there is an error you made, but that is the right answer that you must be having. That is the correct answer. Much as they told you, it's acceleration, but this was a deceleration, so don't get confused. For you put the answer you get, don't change it to positive. Because whenever you meet a negative, it shows you that the car was reducing its speed from 90 to something. Okay, 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 okay. Now can we, yes, Melinda, Melinda? So is it a mass that you must convert into the small points? Because for me, I got negative five out of eight. It is very okay, it is very okay. But whenever it comes to physics, Always the better yeah. you use decimals. For math, better fractions. In physics, better decimals. But to at okay, least sir. four. Okay, okay sir. Yeah. Okay, now. I think there is a problem with the network. So let us so uh, take a screenshot of that number quickly before this network disturbs again. Uh -huh. Hope people have finished. Uh -huh. That is the exercise we are going to do. Take a screenshot as well. Okay, okay. So we, okay, so we are going to end here. Uh, we shall cover this next time we meet. Otherwise, we shall end here and allow me to... I'm going to send everything here. Uh, I had planned... I thought we'd get time to look at these ones, but I think uh, time was not allowed. So we shall look at them, but I'm going to send everything on your WhatsApp group such that you can be able to access. Now... So uh, I the last lesson. Yeah. Isn't it the last lesson? I am not yet sure. I'm going to first discuss with the team. I'm going to first discuss with the team uh, at all to find out whether they still have some energy. Yes, in case I find out that they have some more energy, then it is okay. We can, we may. Yeah, but yeah. I'm going to find out whether they have energy.